Welcome to The Deep Post Extra. I'm Ed Owens, joined here by Randy Peterson of the Des Moines Register. Randy, thanks for joining us Hi, today. Ed, nice to be here, Ed. Always good to talk to somebody from West Virginia. <laughs> kind of, I've never been there until you guys came in the conference, so I, I enjoy it. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we're happy to have you. We're going to talk a little Iowa State football today, uh, Big 12 Media Days here in Dallas. And, and to get started, uh, Coach Paul Rhodes called this defense a young spirited group and looking at the defense a lot of different guys uh, are a lot of new faces on the defense is that code for for a struggling defense or, or is he happy with what he's seen out of them so far that's code for the offense better score a lot of points <laughs> <laughs> the offense is a strength of the team which you may we may get to here in mm -hmm. a few minutes but uh, yeah the defense has to has to play well right away and a quirk in the schedule Iowa State plays Kansas State in the second game of the year mm -hmm. so They've got to hit the ground running. Um, that's a cliche, but it, but it's true. But yeah, the defensive line is is very um, inexperienced. I think one starter returns. Mm -hmm. Linebackers inexperienced. The defensive back, the secondary is is the strength of the defense, and they're they're pretty good. They've got four junior college kids, four or five junior college kids that they brought in who mm -hmm. have to make an impact immediately mm -hmm. for the for the defense to hold its own. And in, in, you know you. You guys know that, the, the high scoring that, that the Big 12 has turned into. Absolutely, absolutely. And you mentioned the high scoring there. You mentioned offense being a, a key to Iowa State this year. Mark Mangino coming in, a yeah. uh, big off-season hire, uh, history there. And if you could talk about that, what that means for this program, and does Iowa State, as it, it stands right now, have the personnel to run his kind of spread offense? Man genius. That's what they <laughs> – <laughs> my gosh, Kansas to the Orange Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, Iowa State has the kind of, of, of players to run his offense. It's the short passing game, you know, short passes, mid-range passes, long gains. Mm -hmm. I mean, throw as many receivers out there as you can and, and find somebody in the open field. Mm -hmm. Iowa State um, has a lot, of, a lot of receivers. So, yeah, they, they have enough frontline players to do it. Depth-wise, I don't know about that. Okay. But, uh, um, yeah, they've got receivers. They've got, they've got quarterbacks. Um, they don't have a, a, a true starting quarterback as of yet. Yeah, and they've got a running back who can catch the ball out of the backfield too, and that's the kind of the Mangino, the Mangino <laughs> way, excuse me. So I got Mangenius on my mind here. So, so yeah, I think, that, I think they can run it. And Coach Rhodes mentioned that, I mean, he said it's an open quarterback competition, mm -hmm. that he'd like to have it by that, uh, I think, the second, second scrimmage. scrimmage. And it sounds like you're already convinced that they maybe yeah. have somebody in mind. It's going to be Grant Rojas. Mm -hmm. He's finished the season as number one, at, um, taking over for Sam Richardson, who, who was hurt throughout mm -hmm. the season. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be Grant. Um, Iowa State hasn't gone with one quarterback for, for a season you know, for a long time. So they'll end up with two quarterbacks anyway, but it'll be Grant. Grant will start. Um, Sam Richardson will be the, the number two um, guy, and both of them have had starting experience. Both of them know their way around the Big 12. They've seen Big 12 defenses before, and their deal isn't throwing the long pinpoint passes anyway. Mm -hmm. They need to manage a game. They need to be a facilitator. And they need to get the ball to the tight end. And that's <laughs> they pretty need good. to get the ball to the tight end. And I was just about to ask you that. How, how much of a safety valve is that? I mean, you, you've got one of the most dynamic offensive players in the Big 12 and, and a lot yeah. of expectations there at the tight end spot. EJ Bibbs is, is, in my estimation, the best uh, returning tight end in the Big 12. Paul Rhodes said that today, and, mm -hmm. I, and I believe it. Um, kid can catch the ball. He can run with it. Mm -hmm. um, underutilized, shall we say, last year, I would say. Not, u not used enough, but Mangino is coaching the tight ends. So they'll get the ball to the <laughs> tight ends. Mangino is the offensive coordinator, but he's, he's hands-on with the tight ends. So, um, so EJ Bibbs will get the ball. Okay. Quarterback aside, what's the biggest issue facing the Cyclones as they head into camp? Schedule. Schedule. It's a very, it's a very challenging schedule. I mean, like West Virginia plays. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Iowa State is, is locked into playing University of Iowa mm -hmm. every year. And um, they're playing North Dakota State, three-time FCS yep. national champion. Toledo, which went to a bowl game last year out of the MAC. So, yeah, the schedule is, is challenging. And plus, like I said, they play Kansas State in the second game of the year. They opened a Big 12 with a weird schedule. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the schedule is very challenging with a, a young and inexperienced defense. You combine those two things and... Uh 
take a look at the Big 12 preseason poll, obviously released last mm -hmm. week, and uh, Iowa State not not picked to finish highly, at ninth in the ninth in the conference. So, do you think that's where they should have finished? Are you, are you happy? And, and if you could throw out a, a prediction for the season, what you expect out of the Cyclones? I think I thought that was low. Mm -hmm. Iowa State lost five games, six games last year by eight points or less. I mean, one or two plays in the Texas game. The controversial Texas game mm -hmm. that was, which went Texas's way on the end, with which a call that the Big 12 actually said was questionable. <laughs> um, yeah, that that the team never recovered from that. So yeah, I think Iowa State can finish better than the ninth place, and it would not shock me if they if they pull out a six-win season. Paul Rhodes is known for the upset, and he hadn't had one for a while, so um, they're due. All right. Well, Randy, thanks for joining us. Uh, everybody can check out Randy's stuff on Iowa State in the Des Moines Register. And as always, you can uh, follow your Mountaineers in the Dominion Post and online at thedpost.com. Keep checking back for videos as uh, WVU heads into fall camp.